Hello, um, well, I'm in my camper. I discovered some uh, water leakage, uh, mainly because this is an uh, older camper. Uh, it's about 25 years old. The, the, the roof, like up here, uh, these are old and they are like, well, crap now. Uh, they need to be replaced and I bought some uh, other ones, new ones. Um, I'm gonna replace them uh, for those. Uh, there are three or four of them. I will just start and we'll find out how it works. out. So this is a better angle. I'm using a better phone now. I still don't have a camera. Yeah, so what was I? Taking these ones off. These are like this. I just cut them in. And I just take an appliance and I just uh, snap them off. Simple as that. And now it does fit a 36 centimeter hole. So it's simply bringing sealant on this stuff, on these, these edges, especially where the screws are. And then you lower it into the roof. And um, yeah, the, you, you put the screws here and uh, when you put the screws in, you, you always take RVS. Like you don't want rusty screws on, on, on your roof. So you put the screws in, it goes onto the roof, the sealant will flatten it out and it will close everything off. Done. That's quite simple. Yeah, uh, but I do have to find out if there are support, roof support underneath there, or if it just goes over, because uh, it's a metal, metal support that I have in the roof. So I will have to drill uh, in the roof with a tiny bit to see if it's in a, in a support or not. Uh, I don't want to get any surprises that I would like uh, not be able to get a screw in the first time because that would ruin my roof again. So you have to drill in the roof like every <coughs> every piece of it and just use like a, a, a one millimeter uh, drill bit to see if there's a, a, an iron support underneath or not. If the support was like uh, the, these supports that I'm looking uh, that I'm talking about if they were like wood it would have been like a lot easier simply not uh, just screw it in but now um, yeah it's a little bit more careful work a metal support is actually better because uh, yeah it doesn't rot so yeah and uh, yeah, this is better. Let's go on to the roof. So, as you can see, that's rust, rust, rust. That was my oops daisy. I cut a bit of the of the of the of the roof away. That might be a problem, but um, that vent is bigger than the old one, so it will overlap. But um, yeah, you can see some places that's really, really small. And uh, you cannot see, at least see there and there. And that was on the, quite on the edge. Uh, it's been leaking. Um, the kit is actually quite good. I cut it away mostly. I'm gonna clean it up, put a new kit on top of it. And that thing will get in. So. This one, like you can see, it will overlap everything nicely. Quite, quite a lot even. So I'm, I'm, I'm still okay. I'm still okay. And this will all, this, this will all be filled with kit, the whole line everywhere around. Yeah, and. Uh, and that this is the stuff that's going on to it. It will be gummy and will stay gummy. So this is the inside 
after installing it and as you can see it's a perfect fit and there's and it's all kit on top and our screws in on top and now we get four extra screws here here is the other piece the piece that comes inside I put four screws in there but um, you have to watch out oh, that will, they will fall out so uh, this is uh, a finished result how it will look like after installing um, it's 40 euros one of these and uh, yeah it works well so just installed the last one uh, last uh, vent that I had to adjust and everything fits like perfect now like super duper uh, it's an electric one it's a special one uh, that I can uh, adjust the volume uh, the speed fan fastness uh, I can put it on uh, the right uh, temperature because this is the underneath part you can open it this is the speed of the vent I will turn it straight uh, that's the, the, the speed uh, to open and close it and this is the whole thing that says like what temperature and if it blows inside or outside yeah you, you, you can push it in a little bit and if you put a bolt here this one goes a little bit deeper and that's basically it and if it's only like a few millimeters inside you turn on it you put too much force on it it will just go the hole and then it doesn't work well anymore so that would be a waste because these things are like 180 euros what i've done is um, to get this one more closer up uh, it's normally there's a screw here in the corner and in this corner those are the only four screws where the van is actually mounted with but um, as you could see it in the in the other van it's still open you sort of four corners these screws i actually bought myself um, uh, yeah drilled a hole in it got them like uh, like a little bit synced in um, and connected these uh, to the little ones that are like from the, from where uh, the the uh, what what the top roof on the top roof there's four pins downstairs down they are not being used because these are like only screwed in the ceiling and it's like you can see it's only screwed on the edges and not inside and these ones they are actually at at these places so what i done with the other one what i showed i scribe and drilled a hole in it and put another bolt and put them in here so they are really tight connected and it pulls a little bit further in this plate so i will get these ones nicely stripped uh, so i can connect it I, I left as much as possible wiring in always do that always try to get leave as much as possible wiring yeah i'm gonna screw this in and uh, yeah quickly do that i'm gonna connect it to this part now i have four wires two of these are going to the to the actually to the actual fan these one these two are like from from the motor um, and the other two are from the plus and minus uh, to, to plus and minus to get uh, stuff in so as you see I drilled the holes now at the sides these ones will fit uh, these little side ones things here at the side um, and this cap is so wide that it will go quite far over it so this, all this stuff is 
going to be done and gone. Uh, this actually I thought uh, shed like uh, it's only like in the corners, but it's also in the middle, so it will be a nice fit. This this rubber in this corner is going to be uh, on here at the side, and it will close it, everything off quite nicely. And uh, only yeah, you see a few few little things, but um, yeah, you can't do it. You can't have everything. To say. And this is the end result, perfectly working, and it looks nice. Three. Nice and quiet. Because from the other one I got deaf. That was like serious hearing damage that you could get from that one. So, but um, yeah, it's working well. This one is done. And outside, temperature is working as well. Because warmer goes off, and it's not that warm. Cooler. Back on fast. This is blowing outside now. So now it's going uh, the other side inside. I feel uh, feel feel it very very well. So this is going to be a very good thing now. So. All the vents are now fixed, uh, there is no leak anymore, uh, everything looks nice and tidy and with that this video comes to an end. If you like this video please like, if you like to see more videos in the future, uh, also by traveling and fixing and me breaking some stuff and that sort of stuff, um, please subscribe and uh, I can only say uh, live your dream and uh, see you next time. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye